Well, you see what I have in store for me. Always got to be ready. Always got to be ready. Well, hey there, folks. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome back to another day in my 2020 beekeeping season where I take you all the way from winter through to the next fall here in my small operation in southeast Louisiana. And remember, this is not a how-to video. It's just me logging my beekeeping season a day at a time as the events unfold. But if you pick up any tips and tricks, it's wonderful. And if you have any tips and tricks for me, be sure and leave a comment. I, I do read them and I will appreciate it. Ah, oh, so what are we doing today? Well, this should be really quick. Might even be tacked onto another video, I don't know. Gotta check on that little swarm, that teeny, itty, bitty little swarm. I have, uh, I caught it on Friday, it is now Tuesday. I left the queen excluder entrance on it for four days. I normally don't leave that on but for two, I mean uh, three. That's okay. That little queen looked kind of flighty anyway. So anyway, I'm gonna take a, take a, a gander. I don't have any smoke. That's a no-no. At least bring smoke with you whether you use it or not. And uh, I'm just gonna pop it open, see if they're established. Like in other words, are they accepting the frames? Is she laying eggs? Is there a second queen in there? Whatever. And if so, then we'll open it. And I do. And with a regular box, I normally do that with a queen cage. I leave her banded in there for two to three days. Go in, if they're established, let her go. If it's a swarm box, a bait box, um, where they come to the box, I usually try to get it out of the tree pretty quick unless I have all drawn comb. And then I leave it on the stand in there and let them get established. And sometimes I have to do a mini cutout, but that's okay. I like them to be established. And honestly, and I'm not bragging because there's nothing to brag about because bees will humble you very, very quickly. All I'm saying is the method I've been using and that I learned when I first caught a swarm has really worked with me. And I may have lost maybe three that have not stayed. Occasionally there is one that flies away, but for the most part, they stay. And if it flew away, it didn't matter what you did, you weren't keeping it anyway unless you just kept them caged up. All right, let me take a quick look at this and then we'll be done. Okay, so let's take a gander. They're fanning the front. It's probably hot in there. It got up to 80 today. These little no nukes I got, they really do get hot. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. All right, they may want to really come on out. Usually when you have them caged like this, a lot of times they will come out and here I'm using no smoke. But it was a small swarm, so I'm not sweating it. All right, there they are. They've spread out. And I'm gonna have to put that together. I don't know why I had that foundation mixed in the middle like that. That made no sense. Take a look. There's the queen. You see, she is that small little long, she's getting long again. She's small, tiny, and dark, hard to see her. But they're putting stores in here. have my cage with me and she's probably not putting the eggs in because there's nowhere to put them in but they're definitely putting stores in so yeah that's kind of not ideal Well, we're gonna go ahead and let them out. We're gonna let them. Tell you, they're buzzing so loud, almost like they're queenless. 
there's really something suspect with that queen. But let's give them time and see what they do. Very suspect. But nothing you can do. That's the queen. I need to get them in a need to get them in a different box. Well, they're putting stores in there, so that's good. I didn't have my magnifying glass to see if they're putting eggs in there. But all we'll do is come back, and if they're still here in a couple days, we know we kept them. All right, guys. I want to show you this other hive real quick since we're right next to it. Remember our abandoned hive? They are 100% utilizing that front entrance now they've quit gathering on the top I mean, every now and then it'll be a flap there but for the most part they're done up top trying to get in where it's clogged and they're utilizing the bottom so let's hope uh, let's hope this brood merges out and these turn into upper upper frame for honey and let's hope they begin to fill this box with brood if not we'd be doing some shaking all right I'm gonna get me a shower get ready for supper who is warm in southeast Louisiana it's evening it's probably mid 70s now the sun's went down and it's cooling off a little bit but it's humid guys it's humid but uh, that's a wrap Wanted to show you that real quick. I might make this just one little quick video. I know y'all probably getting tired of 20 and 30 minute videos. But uh, yeah, that's something sketchy with that queen. I don't know. She did seem bigger today though. Anyway, something looks sketchy with that queen. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't feel right with that swarm, but yeah. It is what it is. They're in a box. I'll come back in a couple days. If they're coming and going, they're still here. Sometimes you can cage that queen. And if they're still wanting to go, they'll go sometimes. But they were putting some stores in. Saw some nectar in there. Um, but they had a roar to them. And she was running frantic. But they didn't have a lot of drawn comb. I gave them a bit of drawn comb, but they didn't congregate on that. But they're so small. So... That concerns me because sometimes they stay in that um, swarm mode where they're still gathered up in, in, a, in a ball. And that can happen inside of a box, just like you can on a branch. And then all of a sudden your swarm goes, especially if you shake one in a box. They stay there overnight, you cage them up, you let them out the next day and they're gone that afternoon because they're still in that mode. And they didn't seem like they were 100% wanting to be established. But they were bringing nectar, so and they were storing it and they were on it. so. And remember, these bees, when they swarm, gorge themselves on nectar. So they clean out honey frames and everything else and they take off. I've seen a, a strong hive that swarmed clean out a super of honey. Literally cleaned it out. This happened last year, matter of fact. I had a super I was gonna pull. It was on a bunch of them that I was gonna pull. And I I uh looked at that, I looked at that super. It was one marked for pulling along with two others on it I had pulled earlier. But I left it on. It was marked for pulling a few weeks later along with some others. And lo and behold, I even remember telling my wife, man, I, I've got to get that off. I, I have a bad feeling. You know, we were out of town or something. I forget what we were doing. But I said, I have a bad feeling they're going to swarm on me. When they swarmed, they cleaned the entire super out. And this was a strong hive. They cleaned the super out. And I'm not kidding. And I'm not lying. And I'm not exaggerating. So they gorge themselves on honey. And they take off. So is that nectar some of what they gorge themselves on and they're putting it back in the cells for now? Hopefully, that's a sign of them staying. Or the red maples, I'm looking at one, they're done. Oh, that's a silver maple, I'm sorry. But they're done, so I don't know. They've got something going in there. That's a plus. But again, time will tell. Come back in a couple days. If they're coming and going good. If they're not, well, they needed to be free. So... Hi folks, I guess that's it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and uh, get on in the house, like I said, and go eat. I did go over and set some some stands up 
at another location and uh, I did not take y'all along with me on that <laughs> even though I said I'll take you along everywhere I go uh, I actually was in a hurry and just left the camera behind but yeah, it's nothing to see you just see that I put two blocks out two four by fours two more blocks two more four by fours and that's a stand for me got a weed eat when I go back with the next set of bees but a lot of my swarms and some splits are going to be going there um, as we as we continue to split and grow and do all that stuff for the season so well that's it for now I hope you enjoyed this little tidbit of information and a little look at that hive. Hey, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload a video. And share this with your friends and family and share it with anybody that just enjoys watching bees. And I surely, surely do appreciate everybody that's watching. I really do. I thank y'all for watching. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I, I'm just doing this for fun. And uh, I, I'm, it's neat to watch the people and answer the comments and learn from guys that I'm seeing and I'm watching other folks and pretty cool so hey guys look y'all have a wonderful evening and God bless y'all this is Barry's Best Honey I'm Mike and I do bees